The story Dreams and Shadows is about a young man, uh, Billy, played by Sean Colin Young, who is searching for something in his life. He, he works this odd job, he's bullied in his neighborhood. What's up, Billy? And uh, he has a father who's an alcoholic, played by James Russo. So nothing seems to be working for this kid, and the only thing that he has is his imagination. I think what drew me to the story the most was the fact that a character being an outsider and being uh, I love I'm a, I'm a sucker for the hero's journey, you know? I'm a total sucker for that classic like guy's world gets turned upside down and then he has to find a way to come to terms with that and grow. Well, first reading the script, it was um you don't expect what's going to happen at the end to happen. Uh, especially in Sean's character, Billy, I feel like he just, he gets to journey so much and I feel like he really comes full circle in, in his journeys and what he gets to experience as a man and as a son. Hi. Are you John? No, that's my dad. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were a little young to be ordering some tail. Billy looks at his father and he, he's afraid because he sees himself becoming his father. He feels like he's becoming the tortured soul that he's always despised. Tell me it was the right thing to do. Tell me it was, it the, was right the right thing, thing to, do. to do. It was the right thing to do. Don't ever doubt that. You hear me? It was the right thing to do. Dreams and Shadows makes James Russo's 99th film. I was fortunate enough to have him on board uh, with this project. James has worked with some of the great directors, Roman Polanski, Michael Mann, Gus Van Sant, Abel Ferrara, and, and many others. What's wrong with your head? Nothing. You've been fighting again? Yeah. Tell me you kick some ass. Dude, man, working with James is like, it's a master class in acting, I think. Because the guy, he knows what works on film. And he really has this, there's a simplicity to the way he works, but he's very forthright in his vision, which I respect, I totally respect that. And he is a, he's an actor's actor. It's like, you have all these memories of her, right? And you're just keeping them alive for yourself. What do you say? That I haven't kept your mother's memory alive? I've kept her memory alive. For you. You kept her memory alive for you, not for me, for you. On the other hand, we have this new up and coming actor, Sean Colin Young. When he came into the audition, I when I first looked at him, I said to myself, well, th this is not what I'm looking for. Physically, he wasn't what I was looking for for the character, but his, his audition was so impressive that I had to consider him. And it didn't take much consideration to realize that this was the guy. I just remember the room was really kind of uh, small, and that threw me for a second. But then I just translated that into how uh, claustrophobic that kid felt in that situation. You have those moments as an actor sometimes where when you pick up sides or a script or whatever, you instantly know who the person is. You instantly, it's like a glove, it just fits. The cinematographer was Grisha Alasadi, and he did a wonderful job. He's a very meticulous cinematographer, and that's great because I'm a meticulous director. He really brought my vision to fruition. I wanted to do a piece that had a film noir look, very crushed blacks and contrasty images. That guy has a, a really 
amazing eye and he really, the manipulation of light that was going on is really pushing some boundaries in the shadows on our faces and like the little squares of light that would be on us in certain scenes and where it hit and just the collaboration between Grisha and Tamrat and the look of it and the feel of it I think really added to the storytelling of it. For me, working with the director was a, a uh, awesome experience because I felt that I had a lot of room to explore. I had a lot of opportunities to, to bring as much as I could to the table. Tamarat was really great at making sure that my perspective was heard, but then was also really great in guiding me in other directions and giving me different ideas on how to approach a scene and how to interact with the characters. And um, I really respected the fact that he let me have my voice. I was the kid that would, you know, sneak the family video camera out and make my own little movies. And that's where the seed was planted to become a filmmaker. After college, I got into the film industry working, doing production work. I have a background in directing music videos. That's where I kind of honed my craft. Dreams and Shadows is my feature film debut. I wrote other scripts, but they were a little ambitious, so I decided to write a script that was dialogue driven, something that was um, something a little easier to execute as an independent filmmaker. This experience on Dreams and Shadow and working with the crew was, to me, one of the most uh, supportive sets that I had ever been on. And the guys were great to work with. You know, Sean was great. Um, and uh, so was James. And uh, yeah, it was a really good experience. From the makeup to costumes to, you know, the lighting, like everything I felt was just, there was a good harmony that was happening. Ultimately, Dreams and Shadows is a cautionary tale about what happens when you mix love, hate, and deception, and what it can do to the human spirit. I want to thank the, the cast and the crew and everybody involved in the making of Dreams and Shadows. I thank them all.